Welcome back. Joining us now, we have Christy Martinez Garcia. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you for the invitation. Absolutely. I always love coming here. Yes, and we <laughs> love when you're here. We, of course, are talking about a very important walk that's coming up the 20th year. Can you believe um, it? That is hard to believe. <laughs> uh, tell us about it. Well, it's the 20th annual Cesar E. Chavez March, and it's going to be taking place on Saturday, March the 30th. We're getting all ready and whatnot, and we're really excited. This year's theme is The Courage Within Us, which I think is a really cool theme. Mm -hmm. But what we do is we reenact a very famous march from um, in California to the Capitol, and so it was really, really cool. So here we are doing it again. Uh -huh. But the first year that it happened, it rained. Mm -hmm. So they didn't get to fully do the full thing. Uh -huh. And um, But every year, dust, wind, dirt, snow rain. Snow sometimes, you never know. <laughs> snow, we've actually had snow. <laughs> yeah. So, But it's a really great event. And what we do is we try to make it easy for folks. So they drop their car off at Cavazos Middle School. Mm -hmm. We start shuttle service from 12 to 1 by city bus. They drop you off at the starting point of the walk, and then we all march together. We have signs. We do, you know, we encourage everyone to wear their T-shirts. Mm -hmm. We fly flags, and it's just like a reenactment, and it's really, really awesome because there's so many young people that participate. Yes, and one of the great things is the educational factor in it all. That's right. uh, tell us about that and the history behind this. Well, you know, some folks are not familiar with mm -hmm. with Cesar Chavez, but Cesar Chavez was a great American hero, and what makes him so awesome is, you know, every time your food gets served at your table, you are pretty much pesticide free. But he was very big into making sure that the workers weren't being exposed and that the food was clean food. And so that he really made a lot of, of efforts in that regard and for farm workers and and just the quality of our produce. All right, so going on next weekend. Next weekend. Um, anybody who's planning to go, mm -hmm. what are some tips that you have for them? Because you are marching yes, away. Yes, yes. And I always encourage comfortable shoes, bring a bottle of water, sunscreen. Um, you want to bring the family. You, if you want to have strollers and whatnot, if you're elderly and you want to participate but can't walk, you can ride your car behind us. Okay. So, you know, we want it to be comfortable. We've had even a nursing home come in their little bus. Okay. And it's just a great event. And like I said, the theme this year, courage within us. And we all have to stand up for something. And, you know, Cesar Chavez fasted for 32 days at one time. And he did it to make sure he, he was all about peace and he did everything, you know, making sure that there wasn't any violence. So mm -hmm. I think that's why I appreciate him so much. All right. So that is going on on the 30th. Don't forget, mark your calendars and we will get that underway. A lot of people probably expected to go out. So be sure to join the crowd. It'll and pick up fun. Latino Lubbock magazine or visit um, latinolubbock.net for more details. All right. Sounds great. Thanks for being Thank with us, Christy. You. We appreciate it. And all this information will be on our website at everythinglubbock.com. It is